Okay, hi, this is Matrix Yoshi, and I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of Pointer's Way 2, Muhammad Fikri's new PowerPoint game. And, so far, the best PowerPoint game ever created to mankind. Yay. So, I'm going to play it. It just came out a few days ago. Um, actually, just yesterday, and I beat it the first time I played it. But, um, pretty good game. Really good game. Not pretty good. Um, definitely worth your time. Go download it right now if you have PowerPoint 2007. It's fantastic. You won't regret it. Anyway, let's start. Yep, that would be his signature. Yep. And that would be PowerPoint Heaven. The logo. Yep, you'll be able to hear the music, hopefully. Yeah, you will. Yeah. God, this game is fantastic. Okay, let's start from the beginning. I forgot the names of the world, so this is one, I guess. Let's do this. Okay, first glance, this looks like a normal... Whoa. That's really loud. First glance, this looks like a normal uh, Fikri game. Um, but the music has been drastically improved. A lot better. Um, even though I like... Pointer's Way Arcade more. This is absolutely fantastic. It has a different theme to it, and I like them both. I just like Arcade a bit better. Okay, I'm weird. Yeah. Yay, and our first boss fight. That was a cool intro. It was a lot better than the annoying flashing. This is like the first boss from Winter's Way, the remake. Ah. Only it's a lot easier, and you have a lot more room. And just overall design better, I guess. And better music! Which brings me to my first thought of this game. Just like... One big... Thing to really think about. Everything in this game has been improved. The music, the graphics, the design, the life system. Kind of the life system. Um, the length, the difficulty, the surprise, everything. Just, wow. Oh, by the way, um, never played a f uh, Fikri PowerPoint game before. Know this, they're all really good, they all are basically the same thing, the only um, PowerPoint game that's different from the other ones is this, because it's way harder, way harder. I can't even explain the difficulty in this game, it's just really, really tough. It looks like a breeze right now, like I haven't died yet, but trust me, it's tough. Like, look how many needles there are, okay? And let me remind you that you are only in the second world. There are ten. Ten. I'm not even 20% done yet. Reminder. Second world. Oh, I should bring the speakers closer. Okay, there we go. Okay, after this, it should be a boss fight, if I'm correct. Yep. Um, little complaint. I think the boss intros should be different every time, or at least, like, a different color. This boss is a lot harder. But, like, in its own way. Okay, first time dying. I guess you have to be patient. 
That's why I'm not so good at it. And one more. One more. Ah, there we go. The explosion is a lot better in this game, too. And the rain thingies, I guess. Okay, this is world three, and now we're introduced to these spinning crosses, or pluses, spinners, how about that? Also, this game is, um, seems more like a puzzle now, just because, like, you have to, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, you have to play it to understand. Like, you can't just go wherever you want, you have to go in a specific path, or like, um, there are better ways to get past the level. By the way, this level uh, shouldn't look too bad on Hypercam. It's definitely not going to look like top quality stuff just because it's hypercam and hypercam kind of sucks, but not too bad. Not like the other world that we were just in the rain. doing too bad. I think I died only like two or three times. Oh. Huh. Second time playing it. That's impressive. And now I have to go all the way back. And now I have to go all the way back over there. And now I have to go back over there. And now I have to go back over here. Okay. Okay, boss fight. Okay, what's this boss again? Oh, this boss is really easy. That's like its intro, don't... Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's not, I guess. I thought it changed at one point. Or it does it. Doesn't seem like it. No. Well, still pretty easy. Ooh, that was close. Okay, next world, this is four. This is supposed to be like a surprise level or like a hazard, extra hazard. And uh yeah, it doesn't look like anything of the other levels. It's shaking. It's no longer just like platforms and stuff, it's just one big platform and enemies on them. And everything is the same color except for black and orange. No? How do I say it then? Everything is orange except for the platforms and the uh, and exits, the goals. Ah. Um, this stage can sometimes lag, but not too bad. It shouldn't mess anything up that you're doing. Oh, yeah, and the enemies blink. How nice. But still, this is definitely one of the most creative um, levels that Fikri's ever done before. I'm not saying, like, oh, make another one. Like, next time you make a Pointer's Way remake, make something just as original as this. Just like the Dark World in this game. Ah, but that was a lot more difficult. <clears throat> okay, even though you can, like, see skinny paths at the beginning, just go ahead and wait until they blink. Okay, try and follow what I'm doing right now. It's hard to tell while everything is shaking and stuff, but 
try and follow the path when everything looks like it's there, I guess. So, wait for that to blink, and that should be the only blinking enemy you have to get by. The rest, just pretend, ah, like it's actually there, like it's not blinking, because it just makes it a bit more difficult for you. There we go. I think this is the last one. I'm not positive. Why isn't there a boss? Hmm.